안녕하세요. Welcome, welcome. Dynasty Music Studio. 특별한 아티스트 근데 되게 한국 힙합에서 다 아는 사람이고 대중들도 아는 사람이에요 그 MBC에서 Kill Bill 이라는 방송이 있거든요 첸 혹시 그 Kill Bill 방송에서 같이 참여할 수 있는지 Of course, you know, 당연하지 했죠 그래서 오늘 촬영하러 갈 거예요 여러분 같이 behind the scenes 보여주고 싶어서 이거 찍고 있어요 Under God, we back Let's go. I just wanna vibe, I just wanna, I just wanna throw things with the air home. NBC, 여러분 알고 있겠지만, it's a nationally, uh, national broadcast network. Okay, so it's uh, basically kind of like CBS or ABC in America. It's huge to participate in a, a collaboration song. Out here we call it a Tanche Gok. Tanche Gok is kind of like a posse cut. So there's a lot of people, a lot of rappers on one song. So it's gonna be on a, a program that they got called Kill Bill, which starts in January. Their whole concept for Kill Bill is to have a song chart on the Billboard charts. So. You know, that's a high goal. Hello. 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 Snacky Chin. Yeah, Snacky Chin. Ah, you're here? Yes. Where are you from? I just arrived at the airport. Ah, then you'll come to the airport. Yes. I'll give you a call. Yes, thank you. Yes. I'm ready. I'm ready. NBC, you ready? 안녕하세요. 로스가 이스트 코스트 시련해가지고 팀스 처음으로 아 그럼 나 들어갈 때뭐 어떻게 해야 되나? 안 나오게 입구에서 이렇게 키가 있어요 But it's too pop for life You know what I mean? Oh shit, show me the money 느낌 난다 gift dt thank you so much look at that that shit is crazy og to og much respect i'm hungry as a motherfucker so i'm gonna eat 도끼님 도시락 맛있는 게 해주셔서 이거는 명품 같은 도시락인데 thank you so much 잘 먹겠습니다 
dulu ya. Jadinya lebih banyak. Eh? I'm moving. I'm trying to. I'm not like moving for good, but like uh, I'm trying to like half half get a house in LA and just stay there for a while. And come back here and do some shows and go back. Nobody big is like really proud of me. Yeah. So I was really just blown away. Oh yeah. No, you 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 was the first one like you know who came up to our you know our brain. Oh for real. Yeah. Well, well, the From the jump. Is hip hop on this, so I gotta be one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, like the every lineup that I did, like it's like who's like real hip hop. Uh -huh. You know, I didn't want it to like bring any like like fake hip hop in the, the track. <laughs> a lot of them, <laughs> a lot of them, um, a lot of them, you know, you know, a lot of them, you know, a yeah. lot of people using like all the tunes all the time and singing, you know, you know, like, so would you ever do that? No, I, I, I'm not against to that, like, type of music, but like, it's all good to like use auto tune and rap or sing, but like, you gotta be. Real MC at the same time oh. too, you know. When you when I when I play the beat, like when, when I play some boom bag, you know, you gotta spit on that shit. Mm. So kind of diverse able to do this. And yeah, yeah, yeah. So if you if you if you can do both, like like even my man Chango yeah. do a lot of auto tune shit too. Yeah. But when I play some boom bag shit, like he come through with that boom bag shit. Yeah. Yeah. I so was yeah. Yeah. That's that's that's. That's my yeah opinion about like fake and real. Yeah, a lot of a lot of new cats they don't they can't do that. They can't they yeah, can't do yeah they, they can only they they don't even know how to sing too. Right right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> so that's like like fake even as even fuck. With, like. Even with auto tune they they can't sing. Yeah, they're just doing it with the they just with they just doing like whatever with the auto tune like mm -hmm. you know I'm not I'm not down with that shit. Yeah. So one thing I thought was crazy, like when you called me, Doki is the one that brought trap to Korea. Like he's oh, the yeah, one yeah. that made it hot yeah. and made everybody else do it, and now yeah. everybody's doing it. Yeah. But what if Doki made an album and put Boom Back back on the map? I thought that would be just crazy. Yeah, I'm trying to do that too. Yeah, yeah cause you know I grew up doing like Boom Back. You know, back then, like 2000, like five or six, I was, I was just straight up boom bap kid. Mm. So, you know, I had to deal with this trap shit because I wasn't, I wasn't like, like clever enough to do a boom bap because oh, really? I never went to school. Uh -huh. So in Korea, like boom bap became uh -huh. like a real, like. You gotta write poetry. Yeah, poetry. like. You know, like, real boom bap is not like that. You know, like uh -huh. you, you can do whatever. Like, you know, you gotta be just, just like straight up. Uh -huh. But like in Korea, somehow like boom bap became like a real like poet type of shit. Right. But I can't do that shit because you know I'm not like educated. That's weird because I think your wordplay is just crazy. Oh yeah, but, but like you don't use fancy like like fucking hanja and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't use that shit. Okay. But like when when the Korean hip hop fans think boom bap is boom bap supposed to be like that, uh, no. Who yeah. made that like? Who made people think like that? You think? I think like people like. like I heard Tablo, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? I think like people like Tablo Young or like Dynamic Duo or a lot of a lot of Young was like real real like smart. You know? But Tablo Young was like really educated, yeah. so he could. So I just I just spit whatever you know I just like I just go like straight up I I, I grew up listening to a lot of big L shit and like my big kind of shit so oh, oh. a lot of people coming through with this boom bap shit too they just trying to like be like yo I, I don't fuck with trap I fuck with boom bap like, oh there's some kids like that yeah yeah oh. there's a lot of new kids like that like they don't even in the Korea yeah.
Really? In Korea, a lot, a lot of people like they say like when you when you watch like coding rapper and type of shit like. Oh. Um, <clears throat> okay. Yeah. What kind of music do you do? Like, I do boom bap, and they don't even know Wu Tang, and like they don't even know Ray Kwan, and like uh, they don't even know Prodigy, and like <laughs> nobody. I was like, what? <laughs> You don't know boom bap and you trying to do boom bap. Is it like how do you know they don't know though? Because I, I saw their interviews. I, I could really? feel it. Like feel it. It, they're not from that that like generation. Right. I'm not from that generation, but I grew up like yeah. you know like studying. Yeah, yeah. I'm the one who you know grew up listening to that shit, so I gotta bring this shit back. Mm. Oh, now that you see, for for example, show me the money. I don't know if you watched it, but. Like it's like now everybody's doing trap. Yeah. Like ninety five like, percent, ninety nine percent. Yeah. A lot of people doing that. Like. Do you that. feel a certain way about that? Of course, cause I when when I did that trap shit, uh, like around two thousand like twelve, like two chains and rolling and all that shit, everybody was hating it. Like. Right. Yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> you were. But like after like four five years later, yeah. like everybody's doing it. Right. Right, so I was like, it's not, no, it's like, it's natural though, you know. So now that everybody's doing it, what's Toki gonna do? Like, is he gonna? I'm gonna bring that rap shit. Rap shit even even though it's a trap, mm -hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna rap more, like McMill or like Young MA or like you know those type of shit. You know, you gotta know how to rap, right, right. to be a rapper. But like a lot of lot of cats out here don't know how to rap. They just do like whatever. Um, I heard some bad news recently about LA. Oh yeah, I got robbed. Fuck. Yeah, like I'm sure everybody knows, but you know, okay, so your car got broken into, right? Yeah, it was it was a uh, uh, it was my homie's car. It yeah. was a Mercedes uh, SUV. Mm -hmm. I parked it at Hambat uh, Solong Town, K Town. Okay. So I was heading to LAX. Uh -huh. So I, I had my bags and luggage mm -hmm. in the trunk yeah and the trunk was full so i, I had to leave my uh few backpacks in the back seat yeah. and and i even covered with a sweater okay and i with a windows tent no like la you can't do that uh, tent. So, so you just went in for a little bit yeah like 30 minutes, 30 minutes. yeah oh. that shit just happened like boom I was, I was trying to like, like I, I was the person who was driving, right? Yeah. So I was trying to get back into the car, and I was stepping on some glasses, like oh, broken oh, glasses. Oh. I was like, oh shit! Yeah. Our best guy stole. It. I was like, I was like supposed to catch the flight in like 30 minutes. Yeah. And I missed the flight and I lost my uh, passport, oh, my man. watches, my jewelry, like. Do you have any insurance by any chance? No, they don't have a jewelry insurance in Korea. Okay. So everybody said like, you probably have a like jewelry like insurance because you got a lot of things. But like, they don't have that shit in Korea. What I heard was you're gonna live out there like for good or something like that. That's what I first heard. Oh yeah, I was going. No, I'm not like moving for good, but I'm. Dry. I got like a health problem in Korea because you know like as a rapper in Korea you can't. You can't live healthy. You know when you do a lot of shit, like you always gotta be in the studio and like you wake up and like mm -hmm. I can't like really you know be in the healthy like circle like cycle or some shit. Right? So I became like real like unhealthy like mentally and in my body at the same time. Wow. But when I go back to LA, I feel I feel good. You know? The weather is good. You know, I can I could walk around. You know, I can see the sun. And, you know. So I decided to live like half half. Yeah. When I first heard you were moving out there, I was just thinking like, like you gotta be careful. Like I'm yeah, sure yeah, you know yeah. what it's like if you were to walk around like or drive around and stuff like, like expensive you, things. Yeah. yeah. I was just wondering, like, how yeah, yeah, yeah. we gonna prepare for it. Now, I'm gonna just be humble. I'm gonna just polo, I'm gonna just wear polo all day. Oh, like, okay. no, no watches, no chains. Like, normally, I would never leave my, uh, <clears throat> leave my bags in the car. Mm -hmm. But I was heading to LAX. Few people told me that it could be a setup. Yeah, so, that's what I was Yeah, but 
it was the it was kind of it was hella random. So you're sure it's like a random robbery now? Yeah, yeah. We, we checked the cameras at the Beverly Center and everything, but like nobody was following me. Okay. And we 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 didn't plan to we wasn't planning to eat mm -hmm. too. Yeah, we just had like extra 30 minutes, oh. so we just pulled up to okay. the restaurant and yeah. ate it. So it's, it was like, if we if we went that straight to, lucky as hell. yeah, they probably sold my watch for like 300 bucks or some shit. <laughs> they they really do that shit. I lost like 300k. Oh my god. Yeah. It's all good, you know, shit happens. <laughs> I'll try to make it back. It, it'll take some time, but you know. I never got a chance to tell you this, but the first time I really got to see you perform was like at Show Me The Money 3. Oh yeah? Yeah, when, when they did the producer Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've ever seen anybody that had Korean blood in them, like that has so much natural, like, like, like the way you move is just incredibly natural and just has oh, yeah? that, that, like, that feel that normally blacks or Spanish people which, oh, yeah. But I know you have some Spanish Yeah, I've got blood. Spanish blood, dude. But it's uh, like, I just thought it was incredible. You weren't doing really anything much, but if you just do something like this, or just move your hand a certain <laughs> way, like there's just something about it that has that... Like that feeling, like, like that. I don't know. I just grew up just like that. Because I, I didn't go to any Korean school after third grade. Mm -hmm. And after... Third grade, uh, I went to foreign school, and after sixth grade, uh, I didn't go to any school, and I was performing since when I was like twelve. Mm -hmm. So I just, I just grew up like watching hella videos, and you know, I was going back and forth to the states. You know? All my cousins, they from, they Hawaiian, so all my Filipino side is all American. I'm curious then, if there's like a soccer match, yeah. and it's Filipino versus. <laughs> oh, what do you feel like? Like when, when who? Like who do you feel more when the goal? I mean, you can't answer this honestly anyway. No, 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 no. I go for Korea. Oh, because I'm fifty percent Korean. Uh huh. So, what's the other fifty percent? The like twenty five Spanish, okay. twenty five Filipino. Oh, okay. Fifty percent Korean. Okay. So. I go for Korea, and I grew up in Korea, and I'm Korean citizen, so mm -hmm. I go for Korea. Oh, that's yeah. Is um the quiet, the quiet ambition is the quiet. No, that's mine too. Oh, that's mine. Yeah. Okay. So we own Elena and Ambition together. Okay. Yeah. Are you looking at anybody right now? Oh, like new rappers? Yeah. Uh, not really. I'm not really into that shit. Yeah, the quiet's more into that shit, mm -hmm. and I'm more, I'm more like, now I'm not a producer. Okay. So like, even when I was doing the show me the money, I was feeling kind of sorry mm -hmm. to the contestants because mm -hmm. I'm not a producer. I produce beats, but I don't think think myself as a producer. Like I'm more like I'm more rapper. I'm more like player type of person, so yeah. Like so, after Show Me the Money three, I never wanted to do a producer thing. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Yeah. Well, I don't want to take too much of your time and shit. So thank yeah. you so much. I just got one last question though. Yeah. Whose verse did you like the best? This so. one? <laughs> like, like honestly, okay. honestly, like. I got a message on my iPhone yeah. saying something. Yeah. But I don't know if you I don't know if you want to say that right here. No, I could say it like in front of anybody. <laughs> what? For real. My favorite verse from this anthem is Snacky Chan Young's verse. You just make me rich. I'm gonna make money off this. For real. Let me just my favorite verse is Tokyo. yo. I'm not I'm not even trying to suck dick right now. <laughs> but I don't know where he breathes. Like he just come coming and he got nah, the nah, playing. Nah. I was trying to like, I was Yo. trying to come through too, but like on this boom bap shit, yeah. like nobody can fuck with your like, nah. like flow and the fucking uh that that like like the lyrics, like that yes. that like that East feel. Uh, 
that like real New York shit. <laughs> like I can't do that shit. I can't catch up. Wow. Like like nobody can do that. For real. Like soon as you like come through, like you can feel it. Like oh shit, he's from he's from he's from the east. <laughs> like for real. That shit. Wow. Yeah. That's that that part is like so so like that's yeah that part. You heard that right? That part. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you, Brenda.